Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome, Welcome back. back to the... How dare you? No, it's my show too now. Go ahead. You're wearing a Kith shirt, so I, I'm allowed to do this one. Uh, what is yours? What is that? Tennessee know. Rock Revival, baby. Hey, you got that? Little bit of Johnny Cash. What'd you get that? Little bit. Honestly, no idea. You probably got it in a box of cereal. Probably. <laughs> I tell you about the time my mom got me a, a t-shirt for my birthday. I think I've told the story. The Puerto Rican one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, and she yeah. was like, it's Captain America. I was like, Ma, Puerto Rico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like, the, even like the tag said like, Viva Puerto Rico. Yeah. And I was like, God damn. Love you, Mom. Great lady. Doesn't know Puerto Rico, though. Does Clearly doesn't. But no. to her defense, look at like the current, like the more recent, like Captain America, like outfits from the Marvel movies. Star. The flags. Like, it kind of looks like a, a bit of a, a Puerto Rican flag. There's some similarities, but... Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I don't think he's Captain Puerto Rico, but he does stand for it all, you know? He does, he does, he does. He's, he, well, technic- he's only Captain America. He's not protecting, you know, Europe. Is Puerto Rico a state or a commonwealth? It's a... what? I, I don't know what a commonwealth is. But now we need to figure this out. I think it's well, like... I'm not going to look I think it it's like, you can chill with us, but, like, you're not allowed to, like... Be, our, be boy. our boy, you know what I mean? Like, like you could sit at the lunch table, but like you're not hanging out with us after school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yo, you could you can like hang out with us at the park, but you're not coming over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like yo, at school, like you're cool with like Pokemon and Yu Gi Oh, but like afterward, like we don't know each other. I'll beat you up. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't. I don't think they'll beat him up. I think they're just like yo, like if you need our help, like all right, like we'll stick up for you. But I don't think you're looking it up, aren't you? What is Puerto Rico? I just want to know what it is. Did you just Google what is Puerto Rico? It's an yeah, island. It's a, well, thank you. Yeah, it's a commonwealth. Oh, no. Oh, officially, it's the commonwealth of Puerto Rico. So what is what is that? Why, do they, why does it call it a commonwealth? Un- unincorporated territory of the United States. So it's, it's, ter- it's United States territory, but it's not incorporated in the 50 states. But, like, why is that different from, like, Hawaii and Alaska? Why did you say Hawaii like that? That's how it's. That's how people say it. Right, but that's not how you say it. I say it the way that it is supposed to be said. Hawaii. Yeah, Hawaii. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that is. Like how you ever say seen, it. bro? If the Rock says it that way, just shut your mouth and say it the way the Rock says it. That's a fact. Because you don't want to have to be on his bad side. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine getting into a fist fight with a Rock? Bro, he would fucking take your fist and smash it in his hands. No, he wouldn't. You don't think so? No, he probably would. He probably fuck you up. But like, he recently was like, oh... We're here in the beautiful island of Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get it, but like, also. Yeah, but he's like Samoan. Yeah, but that's different. I think I, the I Isle know. of American Samoa is but different. But he frequents Hawaii. I think he was. I think he was raised in Hawaii. Yeah. Um, which, bro, that flight. Ten hours. Mid, well, it's six to. It's. I think it's. I think it's twelve. I think it's six to California and then six down. That's a big one. That sucks, dude. Yeah, dude. That's like one of the reasons I haven't gone to like Japan because that flight, boy. That's even further. It's I, I think it's like the same distance but just in a different way. No, it's definitely longer than ten hours. No, no, no. I think it's I think it's like twelve hours to Japan. No, it's not. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Are you sure about that? Flight from New York to Japan. And how much is it? Twelve hundred bucks. A nonstop flight is thirteen and a half yeah, hours. Yeah, twelve hours. Okay. But that's a long time on a flight, dude. Wait, this doesn't really make sense to me. Oh, that's to Tokyo. But if you want to go to like Osaka or anywhere else, like it's way more. Osaka is a two thousand dollar flight. Damn, dude. And then there's a stop, which you probably maybe you stop in Tokyo. I don't know. But I'd want to go to Tokyo. I thought it was way longer than that. I thought it was I would like want to. I'd, that's that's like one of the few places in the world that I actually like want to see one day. Japan. Yeah, Japan. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Greece. Colombia. You haven't been to Colombia? I've never been outside the country. Oh, wow. Neither of you, but... I'm, su- I'm surprised you haven't. Well, I went to Canada. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> My dad, like, I once brought up... He's always said, like, one day, one day, one day. And, like, I recently brought up, like, yeah, we would... Like, Becca and I spoke about maybe going to Colombia one day. He's like, when? When you won't go? You know your dad's going to go with oh. you. Oh, no fucking shit. My dad's going to parade us around like, Mira mi hijo. Yeah. Mira. It says little Frankie. Why don't you just go there? Your dad's like a mayor. He's got another family. My understanding. <laughs> well, that, I don't know. I mean, he, you, bro, did I ever tell you growing up, 
he would like take our old cell phones and like some of our old toys and stuff and send them to Columbia. Yeah, your dad's got like three families. I he might, but he was also being a good person. Well, I remember he to his, to his, to his other children. kids, yeah, yeah, his own to children. my half brothers. I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I don't think he has other families. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, can, can you imagine? Not confirmed, can you imagine? Um, yep. Would you be upset? <laughs> Wait, you went too easy on that. You went too quick on that. Yup. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Because of my dad. Well, no, your dads are your dad. Your parents are separated. That's right. So he could have another family. That's right. <laughs> but like, would you, if you found out that your dad had like three kids that you never knew about, would you be mad, or would you just be like, like, would you want to get to know them, or are you at a point in your life where you're just like, all right, they exist. Because um, I, I don't know. I kind of think like I would just be like, hey, you're, you're, you're alive. I'm alive. I, I wouldn't have like a yearning if that's what you're asking. Like, I need to know my family. Like, Some people do, man. I, I'm sure they do. But I, I, I'm 30. Because I know. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm like, you know, I, I would like to meet them and be like, oh, yeah, we're, I guess. I think the part that would get me is like, I know the dad that I grew up with, and I'd want to know what they grew up with. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. are they going to hate me because they're like, yo, like, you took our dad. Yeah, maybe. Or am I going to be like, those times that my dad was away, he was with y'all. Yeah. Just, I don't know. I, I mean, I feel like I would just kind of be like, uh, and then I, you know, like uh, there was a point in my life, I think I was like 18, 17, and one of our, one of my aunts adopted someone and we met them, but it was like, you know, at that point, like, I already have, like, my friends. And, like, like if, I guess if I was younger, it'd be, like, a little different. Cause I'd yeah. Because like, you're still kind of, like, whatever. But at a certain point, you know, especially now, I'm, like, 30. Yeah. I'd be, yeah. like... I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I think, like, now... And you don't even hear... Shit like that doesn't happen anymore. Like, in, like, the 40s and 50s, people would leave and have new lives and new families without ever knowing. Dude, all you would have to do is go fucking 10 blocks over. Yeah. There was no social media, yeah, no bro. pictures, no nothing. You 10 blocks leave, over, have another family. You Boom. didn't leave... You went to the Irish or the Italian part of town, and then you had a whole new life that you would never, like... Literally. Be, it kept secret the whole time. Yeah. Uh, I w if you lived in that time... Do you ever think, like, you should have grown up in a different time period? No, bro. I kind of... I kind of do. What do you... Me? I kind of think me, not you. Where? you. You're miserable all the time. Right. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I think I would do really well in the 20s. Like, the roaring 20s. Okay. I would also need to be in, a, a, like, a position of, like, stature. Like, if I was just, like... Yeah, because you know what's coming in a few years... <laughs> The great one. Like, if I was, like, a Rockefeller in the 20s, I would crush, dude. Uh, I think anyone would crush as a Rockefeller. <laughs> like, the richest families of all time, basically. Well, no, the Wall family, I think. The Waltons, I think, are the richest family of all time. The Walmart people? I, I don't know if they're the Walmart people, but, like, the Waltons, I think. Who knows? Um, but, and also, like, if I was, like, a teenager in, like, the 70s. Bro. Could you, I, first of all, I've always said, like, I, you know, don't do drugs, haven't done drugs, but, like, if I was a teenager in the 70s where it was, like, weed was weed and heroin was cool, <laughs> I would have been fucking crushing drugs, dude. Probably, yeah. And I'd like, just be like, yo, what do you want to do tomorrow? You want to go see Queen for a, a penny and a half? I do wish, sometimes I do wish that I was five years older, just five years so I could be a little older for stuff that happened like right before I was born that I thought were like really cool or just like older like well you'd you'd be four for things that happened right before you were born what you just said for things that happened right before I was born if you were five years older you'd only be like four or five yeah but I mean like how much do you really remember from when you were four <laughs> or five Joey <laughs> that's fair but what I <laughs> what I meant was like to be like a little more competent like one of the examples, and this is a bad example, but yeah. it's just one of the things. I'll let you. I'll let you play with it. But like when Fifty Cent first came out, damn. Like when we were, we were like young for that. So if we were like a little older, bro, speak for yourself. I actively remember Get Rich or Die Trying. I know that, but I'm saying if we were a little older, we could like go out somewhere or something. And yeah, like it would have been enjoy it. if we were at like a house party and then just like in the club came on. Yeah, like damn. Or like or the Eminem and Dr. Dre run was pretty cool. Becca tells but we me we were in fourth grade because you know Becca was born in the '60s. And she yeah, tells yeah. How me, was that for her? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's she's a couple years older than us. But when she was like going to like house party, she was like a teenager in the late nineties. Yeah, that's a prime time to be a teenager, dude. For music, dude. For, for like not just music, but like culture. Like you went out and like you didn't have like you didn't have to worry about people like snapping pictures of you all the time and like things happened and then they were like 
they were never spoken about on social media or anything because there wasn't social media. Yeah, all the sexual assault was like swept under the rug. Yeah, well, hold on. Yeah, that's that's the part. But like, <laughs> no, like there was also like kids were allowed to be kids more at that time. You could call people gay back then. Bro, you would fly <laughs> you just chant that people were gay in the streets, you know? Yo, when I think about some of the stuff that like happened back in the day. I know. The other day, actually, I saw a video of Howard Stern in blackface saying the N-word. And I'm like, and he's with a black person. Beetlejuice? No. It was someone. I don't know who it was. Okay. But I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, yeah. it, it was like the fact that this was like, yeah, no, it, it's a joke. Yeah. And everyone was like, it is. There's, <laughs> I mean, it. bro, there's one from like 2001, 2002 of Jimmy Fallon on SNL doing Chris Rock in blackface. Oh, he also did Shaquille O'Neal. I don't remember that one. Ja- Jimmy Kimmel, yeah. No, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, oh, Jimmy Kimmel, though. He did Shaq. Yeah, which, again, don't... It's fucking stupid. <laughs> but, like, at the same time, I, I... Like, that's too recent to be, like... Blackface is, like... That's too recent. 20 years ago, like, you yeah. should have known. Well, also, it's like... Bro, I... I feel like... Because at a certain point... And, and I don't feel this way about blackface, but there are certain things that I feel like... They have to happen so that people can be like, what the fuck are you doing? And it's yeah. like a learning experience, yeah, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't feel that way with blackface just because if you go back and you watch uh, Judy Garland in fucking whatever movie that was where she was in like complete black... Like, it's like very clear that this is so fucked. And like, you don't need to be like challenged on like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that. It was like very clear. It's like, this is... Demeaning, guys. Yeah. Well, you know? that's because... Like, what are we doing? Because it was paraded around as a joke, you know, making fun of people of color, basically saying, like, you know, how incompetent they... You know, uh, just making these ridiculous claims about their incompetence. Hold on. Dude. The movie Dumbo. When the was original, the last time you've seen that? Uh, The original? Not long ago. Dude, there's a song in Dumbo. I watched it the other day because my sister put it on for fucking... Uh, Your nephew. My nephew. And she's like, I was watching this the other day, and you won't believe, like, what the fuck. And she put it on, and uh, there's a part where they sing a song, and it's well, like... it's the crows, right? The crows? No, it's not the crows. It's like, the, there's like these worker men that work on, like, the train that fucking moves the elephants or whatever. Dude, it is fucked. Really? It's insane. Well, I, I, a lot of Disney. It's not even, like, close to it's being like, okay. Yeah, like it's like Bro, you, people forget Dumbo came out in like 40 something or, or like the like the like or like when like that was like the cool thing to do back then. Like I said earlier, like people were just like, "Oh, blackface, throw it in there." And then it was just like faceless, like just black silhouette dudes. Yeah. Yeah. And it, dude, it was well, so Well, you remember up. Song of the they South? Talking about, oh, we can't read or write, but we worked through the night. I was like, "Bro, what the <laughs> fuck?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dumbo, it's, bro. It's fucked up. It's Dumbo. It's about cute, cute little elephant. Well, fuck the elephants now. Well, yeah, now they're all now you don't feel that bad about Dumbo's mom. Yeah, it's and also what a lesson to teach with the fucking movie Dumbo. Listen, if you're ugly and fucking weird looking, everyone's going to ostracize you, but as soon as we could use you, you're down with us. Yeah. We're cool with you. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh no, the so, the the famous one that Disney put out Years and years and years ago was Song of the South, and that's where that song zippity doo da ba 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 my oh my what a, like that's like known as like that's one that like Disney was like we fucked up they put it in the vault in like the seventies and they were like we're never putting that back out there really I don't even really yeah know. if you I mean look up the controversy but a lot now on Disney Plus easy like movies like that the Aristocats like they'll play it and they'll just be like there are depictions of like inappropriate you know like but not uh, only that they have recolored Dumbo so it looks better. Bro, at no point during the recoloring where you're like, this song. Well, you have the people out there that are like, it's part of our history. Like we did, and like I, I get that it was included, but it's not necessarily. It's not even one of the main songs in Dumbo. I, I honestly can't even name it more than that Bro, in Dumbo. When I see an elephant fly, that's a banger. I don't, don't know that one. It's the, the crows sing that one. Okay, the, uh, another very racist part of that movie. The crows are like a pretty like egregiously. Oh, I haven't seen. It. I only saw that part, and I was like, this is a lot. Bro, the, if you watch other ones, there are other like legitimately. It's like yo, how, like there's some stuff recently too that's like, how did it happen? Like, you ever think the movie The Birdcage could be made today? Why not? Because you have well, I mean Nathan Lane is I, I believe he's gay, but like big gay. Robin Williams in like his not like gay. over the top flamboyant. You also, know, what's his name's not gay either. Uh, fuck, what's his name? He's the the maid. I don't remember. Fuck me. 
He's a famous guy. Oh, he he does the the voices for Simpsons. He does a poop. Oh, uh, Hank, 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 one? Hank Azaria. Oh, I don't. I didn't even. I would have never got that. <laughs> yeah, Hank Azaria. Yeah, but yeah, he yeah. plays. The, well, he did the voice of a poop, which. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He said he's like no more. Yeah. But no, they they have a lot of shit that like yo and like there's some kid stuff that we showed Miles like that we were like like we talked to him in the like as he's watching like you know never to repeat that right like never to say that my mom used to not let us watch certain cartoons because she was like what the fuck like I remember one time we were watching like cow and chicken and they were talking about like sucking tits what because the cow has tits bro cow and chicken was a little risky I remember like because yeah. it was on like late my mom's like Network. yo no sucking tits yeah, yeah they would like eat off. pork butts and they just had this. Fat ass just coming out on a plate. You remember that? <laughs> just like a, a fucking butt, dude. It was the times, bro. It was the times. Yeah, I remember. And there was like the red, like horny devil. I do remember that. And, and he horny. had a fat ass too. Oh no, no, that was Powerpuff Girls. I think. Well, no, that was him. That's who you're talking from. Powerpuff Girls. It was. It was a villain named him. The if- one that spoke like me. <laughs> I don't know. You're you don't remember to- that shit? I don't. Oh, dude. But I remember he had a fat butt. No, I don't think him had a fat butt. Yeah, I'm dude. pretty sure it's... Look it up. Him from Powerpuff Girls. I'm pretty sure oh, he no, was, like, it was skinny. Or maybe it was Rocco's Martin. Right? Rocco's Martin. No. Bro, the Red Devil. I don't remember what his I name was. His name was like Mr. Pyle or some stupid shit. I don't know. But from Cow and Chicken had a fucking... Wagon? Wagon, dude. That's nice. Just like... Just, just, just causing, you know, a ruckus back there. Yeah. 18 car pile up back there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a big accident. <laughs> Bro, um, I've been, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off, but I don't care either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been watching Arrested Development lately. Have, when was the last time you watched that show? I haven't seen one episode fully. You're kidding me. No. Bro. I know you, you love that show. You would lose your mind with how funny it is. Really? You would lose... For, for, there's a character on the show, Tobias Funke, and like part of his thing is that... like. People can't tell if he's gay or like he's like he's like married to uh, Portia de Rossi's character, and it's like is he gay? Is he not? But he always says like double entendres that like it's like you know like <laughs> at one point he he uh, goes into a cab all dressed up in like head to toe in leather, and he needs to go to a magic show at the Gothic Castle. <laughs> but the guy thinks he says, "Oh, you want to go for the Gothic Castle?" <laughs> He brings it to like a BDSM gay club, bro. It's so fucking funny. Those might must be a lot of fun. Listen, a BDSM gay club. I my my clubbing days are over. I never really had a big clubbing experience, but but <laughs> <laughs> if I'm gonna get back into it, the, you, you got to put leather on the gay clubbing scene, dude. Have you ever worn leather pants? No. I've never worn them either, but I, I really want to. I don't think I could pull them off. I, I don't got, think so either. I got big thighs. I also sweat a lot in my asshole area. I'm going to tell you this right now. So that's basically like a biohazard. An afternoon in leather pants? <laughs> I'd have to throw the pants out. Well, that's why I think the leather chaps, they're assless, because it lets them breathe. Also, how do you <laughs> how, <laughs> how do you wash leather? I, I think you just like, you know, like you throw them in the wash, like hang it in the sun and let the fucking world do its work. Spray it with hand sanitizer. Yeah. I don't think you wash leather. Yeah. Cause I don't really know how to do that. I know they make like leather wipes. So maybe you just like wipe, but like the inside isn't leather. You got to get it detailed or bring it to the mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> Can you wash it? Deep clean. Yeah. <laughs> it's like those videos of people cleaning carpets on fucking online. Dude, I fucking love those videos. I do too, man. People I'm, cleaning a carpet. I watch them a bunch. There's not much else that gets me hornier. And clean it. You can clean my carpet. But yeah, if I'm going to get back into the clubbing scene, the gay clubbing scene is a lot of fun. From someone that's been to a gay bar, I think twice in my life. Well, we're going to a gay bachelor party. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, by the time this comes out, we'll be... We'll be home. We'll be home. <laughs> so and, check for the next episode. Because yeah. <laughs> then we'll have the stories. We'll have the stories of how, how gay it may be. And I'm ready, dude. Yeah, me I'm, too. You know, I'm I'm ready for like having fun. I'm not ready for like I'm not gonna like give myself up. Oh, for the right price. Oh, no, you. No. Oh, I don't know. I'm I'm a happily married man. I'm not doing that. Yeah, but how do you know if you don't? I I think I know, <laughs> Joey. You think you're gonna? You think you, you might you might dabble a little I'm bit? Not gonna smooch a man? Smooch is nothing, Joe. I'm talking like a hum how. Oh, t- <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, what did you just? What the fuck did you just do? What? <laughs> Are you fucking 
kidding me? One more time. Nope. Uh, well, no. We're going to clip it. We're going to run it back. You're not going to clip that because the Clippers right, are on my – Run that back eight times. on my side, baby. Ah, ah. <laughs> I need to see that. <laughs> They're on my side. Yeah. Well, that was a lot of detail, and uh, no, I don't plan on. You don't. I don't plan on sucking in penis on this trip, Frank. I don't plan on doing that at all. You don't plan on it. You sure no. about that? I know. But you know what? If you I never, gotta, if you I never gotta, plan for these types of things, they just kind of happen. That is fair. But what I do plan on doing. And Pete and Gio will be there. Listen, I plan on throwing the appropriate amount of ass just to get a pina colada. Ooh, you want to? You want to? You going island drinks? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Bro, absolutely. We're gonna be in like a little like kind of like tropical area. Okay, okay. all right. I'm glad that this is coming out after we'll be back yeah, because yeah, then yeah, people yeah. won't be able to come down and like fucking. Yeah, yeah. You want me to give the address? No, I don't even know it. I don't even. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. Um, but yeah. Anyway, time for some serious stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I have some things written down here uh, that I want to. Speaking of like, am I in trouble? Speaking of gay, no. Speaking of gay, yeah, as you, as one does. I've I've uh, yeah I found a um, a story from the New York Post, um, and it says that a North Carolina family abandons their dog over fears. All right, hold on. That's fucking evil. No, I mean sometimes you abandon your dog if you fear that like maybe it's like a zombie or maybe like it's gonna kill your baby. That I'd be yeah. You know, like some people have to give up their dogs because they don't mesh well with the baby. Yes, that is true. Um, that didn't happen with this family, though. The North Carolina family abandoned their dog because they feared that it was gay. Wait, what? A gay dog. <laughs> so they were afraid. How did they, how did they fear that it was gay? Like, I'm what was it so doing? glad that you asked, Frank. <laughs> uh, how did they fear the dog is gay? What was it doing? Uh, they saw him humping another male pooch, and they were like, Yo, what? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Get this dog the fuck out of here. Bro, I mean, listen. Dog 101, they hump everything. Male... Female, inanimate. They yeah. don't give a fuck. They're gonna hump it just to let it know, like, I'm the alpha yeah, here, bitch. My, my dog used to fuck his own dog bed. Damn. He would fold up he his dog bed. He already slept on it. Dude, he would fold up his dog bed. I remember Chase doing this. And slam it. I and remember. I go, bro, yo, and also, that dog, per capita, had a fat dick. Really? Bro, per capita, uh, well, like the dog keeps using this like GDP. Because like, if you if you put this if you put that dick on Charlie, Charlie's way bigger. You'd be like, oh, it's just regular penis. You put this dog on a little dog like oh, that. Oh, Chase, yeah, Chase was maybe like this big. Bro, so, well, well, that's a little. That's like a yeah. That's not Chase that. was like this big. Oh, I thought you were talking about his dick. No, no, no. Like <laughs> as a dog, he was about this big. Yeah. So what were we talking, dick? Like, bro, like that. Like that? Yeah. Like if if bro, that's like a fourth of his of his body weight. Let me just say this. Maybe not weight. The if length. you if you put that dick on a human. I think they'd be fine in their life. That's what I'm trying to say. No one would go, <laughs> you know? I don't think many people are doing that to dicks. Oh, I do. Yeah? Yeah. Sometimes people ask for it. They like being uh, like They like humiliated. being shamed? Ew. Yeah, it's like, oh, look at this pathetic little bean dick. It's, oh, yeah, keep going. Yeah, that's what they do. The guys are like, tell me it sucks. <laughs> bean dick? Yeah, like a little bean. Like here, it's like, ew, what is this stupid thing? It would never please a woman. And people are like, that's fire. Really? Yeah, that's, Gee, a, that's a big thing. I didn't know that it was like a world. Dude, humiliation, that's a whole genre out there. Really? Bro. What yeah, would you say to me if you were to humiliate me right now? Like, you're so fucking stupid. No one will ever love you. Well, how could they? Jesus. Is that too much? <laughs> it was, I don't even think that was humiliating. It was just like, true. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, first of all, one, uh, dogs hump anything. That's one. That's dog love in 101, babe. Yeah. Also, if anything, that's like being the big bad that's being guy the big in man, prison. dude. Being like, yo, this is my shit. I'll, Bro, I'll Spartan, Spartan warriors fucked guys all the time, and they were like considered, they're revered. It always comes back to the Greeks. You know, <laughs> the Greeks love it. Yeah. Uh, but like, what's wrong? Well, this is, first of all, where was this again? Florida? Um... <laughs> Florida? North Carolina. Okay, just about Florida. Florida and yeah. change. Didn't North Carolina have some stuff with, like, trans people? So thank God they didn't think this dog was trans. This is, I mean, this is, I know it sounds stupid. The dog's name was Fezco. Damn, after the guy from Euphoria? Well, the dog's, like, five years old, so I don't know how. Oh, uh -huh, that's weird. That was just a good call by them, I yeah, guess. Yeah, they, <laughs> they didn't good with, like, fucking Sam Levinson or something? Oh, it's, you can adopt it. It's at a shelter right now. They saved it. Yeah, good. Anyone interested in, in fostering or adopting him can call SCAPS. I don't know what that is. At 704-986-3881. Bro, if someone adopts his dog and sends a story in, we'll put you on the episode. Like, yeah, if, we'll, if a anyone, little shout out. Yo, if anyone adopts his gay dog... <laughs> 
Dennis Dog is so gay. Imagine they bring it home and then like it's just, just like, like Dennis Dog is fucking joking. Gay. Dad gay, dude. <laughs> They were not kidding. But, like, I don't, I'm going to get on my, my, my little, you know, uh, soapbox for a second. But, like, people in the country where they're like, oh, you know, homosexuality doesn't exist anymore. Racism doesn't exist anymore. Little things like this. You know, keys you in. Yeah, dude. You know. Also, guys, North Carolina people, you're an idiot, bro. Like, a dog banging another male dog is just dominance. Yeah, babe. Uh, and, and, many, and, and even if the dog was gay, I'm loving that dog so hard, dude. Can dogs be gay? I don't know. I think penguins are. I think they're peng- they're gay penguins. No, I think penguins are just like, 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 uh, what's that called? Um, life partner? No, like, what's the shit where you, um, fuck me. I'm an idiot. Yeah. What's the, <laughs> what's the, oh, pansexual. They fuck pans? No, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I know, it's a joke. No, they, they, uh, they just will have sex with men and women and whoever. Yeah, but. A train, a transguin. Um, Apparent homosexual individuals are known from all traditional domestic species, from sheep, cattle, horses, to cats, dogs, and budge greers? What is that? What's a budge greer? I've never heard of this animal before. Why would they include that with, like, the basic animals? <laughs> oh, those are birds. <gasps> the birds. The birds are gay? Parakeets. Parakeets. Gay birds. Gay birds. I had... You had gay birds. No, I didn't have gay birds. You had parakeets. I definitely had parakeets. They died before they could figure out a, their sexuality. No, they had lived a life. Two years? How long do birds... I don't know. We had those birds for a while, bro. Yeah, but the, um, probably not enough to figure out like what they had going on. Some, yeah, probably. I don't know. Damn. What are the ones that talk? Parrots. Parrots. Bro. Crazy. If I, I'm letting you know right now, if I had like met someone with a parrot and they were like super like homophobic or something, I would just teach that parrot to say like the gay stuff. Like not even, but just like things that I know would upset them. You know what I like mean? Blow my back out. I'm a man, by yeah. the way. <laughs> <laughs> just make their parrot say some stuff. <laughs> yeah, just like. Just like really get to them. Just like have like just so they repeat on like repeat like LGBTQ plus. Oh yeah. You know, just like just to really get at them. I'm a little petty with stuff like that. On the last weekly episode, we spoke about that woman that was whispering like, I want you to die in like the girl's ear. Yeah. I would do stuff like that, but like with like people. Like I'd like hide notes in like their cereal boxes that says like this was handled by a gay man. Yeah, yeah. You know, just to really you ever see the show Oz? No. Oh, it's a really good show. But there was one part of a season where this neo-nazi you know as they do yeah he needed to get um his gums like fixed and what? It, like something happened where like he got fucked up and he needed to like fuck with his gums and he was operated on by a black doctor and the black doctor gave him gum donation from a black man to like fuck with him dude the guy you gotta watch it it's fucking he wild cut his mouth out i would do that yeah what? Yeah. He cut his gums out? Yeah. He puts fucking heroin all over his gums and he takes a razor blade and he cuts them all, all off, like off. You need to watch his shit, dude. <sighs> Bro, these neo-Nazis are wild for a lot of reasons. But also, I didn't know you could just give someone gums. I'm pretty sure I, you'd have to watch the episode. I could be, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> it was probably just teeth. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, maybe, but like either way, like I remember it was like they gave you from a, like donations from a black man and the guy was like, ah, what idiots. Yeah. Those um, neo-Nazis. Not yeah. very smart. Yeah. Anyway, about these ads. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about something else before the ads real quick. Um, Easter's I, coming up. Love that. Uh, we have MVMT is the first one. Uh, <laughs> Easter's coming up. MVMT. Uh, they make minimal jewelry. They make watches. They make blue light glasses. All of this stuff is amazing, especially the watches. They have the look and quality of a $400 to $500 watch usually in like any other department store. You're looking at that price, but these are a fraction of the cost, um, and they are, like I said, the quality is amazing. I have a bunch of them. I know Frank has a bunch of them. Uh, I actually saw you. The last time I was with you, not here, uh, you... We're wearing your MVMT, MVMT watch. It was an incredible watch. It is a beautiful watch. Um, but you get beautiful watches shipped right to your front door for free. And if you don't love it, you can ship it right back also for free. Uh, like I said, they have blue light glasses as well to protect you from looking at screens, as we all do. We spend a lot of time on our phone, our computers, or whatever, watching TV. It's nice to have blue light glasses. Save your eyes the strain a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, go check them out. They also, they're also very stylish 
Uh, they're amazing. So definitely go check them out. Uh, you get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash basement. That is mvmt.com slash basement for your 15% off today with free shipping and free returns. Go buy someone something nice or buy yourself something nice. They have a lot to choose from people. Um, uh, and next we have uh, Simply Safe. Simply, Simply Safe protects your whole home around the clock, every door, window, and room. They have motion detectors. Uh, you know, they ha it's backed by 24 per 7 professional monitoring in the business. Um, they're ready to dispatch police, firefighters, MTs to your home at any time. Um, so it's great. I mean, that's what you want for your new home. Frankie has it. He just bought a new home not too long ago. Hooked it up with Simply Safe. It's also very easy to set it up. It's I not actually too complicated. set it up with my six-year-old son. There you go, folks. All right, no excuse. Um, but it has a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, uh, including an all-new wireless outdoor security system. Um, it's great. And it's also less than $1 a day. And you can set it up very quickly. Um, there's no long-term contract. You, you could even try it for free for 60 days, uh, risk-free. So yeah, might as well try it out. Uh, protects over a million homes in the United States. Uh, and you can get yours um, at simplysafe.com slash basement. Uh, go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. Um, go to simplysafe.com slash basement. Again, you get a uh, free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. All right, so there you go, folks. That's what you got, though. Um, also, in the news, maybe it's like a little dated at this point, definitely dated at the point this comes out, but yo, we need to talk about the fact that Elon Musk challenged Vladimir Putin to a fucking duel, he said. He, was it a duel or a fight? No, he said duel. Duel? I think he said duel. Duel I, means you can have guns or swords, dude. Yeah. I hear by Elon challenge, Musk, you need to pad your, 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 your... Sorry. His words were single combat. What's a single combat? I think that's like whatever, dog. Huh. Street fight. Bro, Elon Musk, I think, has like... Uh, like a cult So you gotta be careful You don't know what this guy knows No bro Single combat And he's Single He's all into like Like cybernetics So like maybe he put like Weird shit in his hands To like Im You know Make himself like Impervious to pain And he'll just fucking I don't know Yeah no I I, I mean How tall is Poot? I think he's small The Poot Poot man ain't Ain't too big But the guy Elon is Musk. pretty Gotta admit the guy's pretty yoked Elon Musk's height He's 6'2", bro. Elon Musk is 6'2"? He's a big boy. Bro! Elon Musk is 6'2", and then Putin height. Give me a centimeter, a uh, 5'7". Not looking good. Not looking Not good looking for the good. That's, that's a 7-inch difference. That is a 7-inch difference. Yikes. Is it? Three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, come on. Wow. But dude, that's, that's a lifetime there. Bro, 7 inches at that height? 5'7 is 6'2". Damn, dude. Elon Musk, my dog, Putin. I mean, but Poot, Poot's got, he's strong. Dude. He's got, he's got anger. He rides strength. horses, which like, I think that like in, in your brain makes you stronger than like anybody else. Maybe your like asshole can take a beating a little better. Dude, riding a horse hurts your ass. Does it? Oh yeah. You're bouncing up and down at a fucking horse. I, I actually recently for some reason was at a horse like farm and I noticed that the people riding them like, like, like rode them. Like it was like. You have to do that. You have bro. to like. Well, you have it like this. It's a single. And or like this. And, and you have and to you, like. And you just do this. You have to like. Yeah, you have to like grind on them a little bit. Yeah, you got a pretty Ricky like, grind on me. I was like, what is going on? I didn't know that, bro. Listen up. I thought I I was gonna start this by saying I would I would dog Musk, but six two. It's a big boy, bro. And he's not like a lean six two. He's got some weight to him. Yeah, I mean. I don't know what he's what he's uh, walking around at. Take it, pull up a picture of him. They would have to have a catch weight for sure. What's that? Uh, just like you know, because they probably weigh differently. So oh, like, Joey's I'll, throwing out his UFC terms that I he knows I don't know. <laughs> I'll meet you. Well, they have a catch pounds. weight, and they'll have to fight. You know, like bone v bone or something. Start, <laughs> wait, what do you want? What, like, like, pull up a picture of Elon Musk. Does he look like he's got some weight to him, or is he built like fucking? I'm gonna look up Elon Skeletor. Musk. Wait. Uh. 82 kilograms. Come on. Okay. 82 kg to LBS. 180, bro. That's way too in shape. Bro, 180, 6'2", you're a twig. Yeah, he's not. He's not 180. Sweep the legs. There's no way. He's got to be at least like 195. He's got a big face. He's also got a belly on him, doesn't he? I don't know. Actually, he looks like he's pretty in shape. Does he? 
He's got a dumb face, though. He, he does just, have he's a, got a stupid. Face. I I don't. I think people are not very happy with him. I don't really know why, but um, well, he's, he's got a billion dollars. No one likes billion. Well, he doesn't have a single billion. He's got a couple of them. How many? Forty? Fucking ton. Bro, he was the richest man in the world at one point this year. What? Yeah. He was richer than Bezos at one point. Oh, Bezos. That's big time money. Uh, yeah. Bezos, both. on the other hand, oh, I'm washing his shit. No, you're not. Bezos? Bro, have you seen Bezos lately? The guy's yoked. Bro, but he's like 5'2", dude. How, how big is Jeff? Jeff Bezos. Height. Damn, he's 5'7". Damn, I don't give a fuck. I'm six foot, baby. What are you gonna do to me? I mean, dude, the guys, this guy's lit up, bro. And he's also worth 187 billion. Yeah, that... he's gonna have fucking Mike Tyson and the hologram of Muhammad Ali training him. Yeah, that he he he'll be able to pay. But if like we both said we were only gonna commit this much money to training, I think I have a better shot of beating him up than he does me. I tell you what, Mark Zuckerberg's five seven. I would do unspeakable things to that oh. man. That's my Mark Zuckerberg impression. Do it again. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. Uh, I think, yeah, Mark Zuckerberg beat him up. Yeah, yeah, obviously. There's not, like, a lot of, like, super rich people I don't think I could beat up. Bill Gates, 5'10", dogging him. Well, yeah, he's old, too. Who else we got? We got Elon Musk, Mackenzie Scott. Don't know who that is. <laughs> it's Jeff Bezos' ex-wife. Uh, I just have a list of... Oh, Richard Branson? Oh, bro, he's jumping out of planes and shit. You know he knows Krav Maga. Yeah, he's got... <laughs> You might you might think you have a shot, but you definitely don't. Kramaga. Uh what about Leonardo DiCaprio? Ah, uh, ooh, man. I think we actually He's have got a... some weight on him too, and he's pretty tall. Well, what how tall is he? Like six foot? He's not, nah, bro. He's, he's I think he's like six three. A pussy posse? I just get him drunk. He, oh no, he is six foot. So you guys are the same height. Oh man. He was in Titanic though. Yeah, you did. You know, he's definitely trained for stuff. He's trained for being in cold water and probably fighting me. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We actually, I, th- I think we have a Patreon episode where we went through a bunch of celebrities and we discussed if we think we could beat them up. It's it's backlogged, but guess what? If you become a patron, you can watch all of our backlogged episodes at patreoncom slash yard. That first tier, you get on that first tier, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance. All those comments six days ago, five days ago, whatever. Those are the patrons, babe. So go check it out. That next tier. You get exclusive episodes, just like this one we're talking about right now. Yeah. On Friday mornings, start and end your week with the basement yard. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. I think, I think. Also, real quick, me when we hit 10,000 patrons, Frank's going to get a Brazilian wax, and I don't think that he really knows what's involved in that. I don't. Because I'm going to be filming it, which means that I'm getting a front row seat to the inside of your asshole. What? And gooch or undercarriage, whichever you want to go with. Can I, like, what, can I, like, do I wear, like, a thong or something? Or am I like digging balls out, bro? Thong's not saving you. I would think I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna request to wear a thong. They have to wax everything. They're gonna. They're gonna. And you know what they're gonna do? They they might have to. They're gonna wax you, and then in order to get every single hair, they're gonna. Uh, tweeze, no, no, bro. no, 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 no. They're gonna tweeze some stuff. No. Can we ask for like a half Z? What's a half C? Like a not as thorough. I don't need to not have fucking hair from the waist down. Oh, that's what the that's what the that's what the Brazilians do. Ugh. They wax it up. You're gonna have a slick butthole. Your butthole's gonna be like like oil. <laughs> you could just like when you take a shower, it's just gonna like flow off of your ass. <laughs> it's gonna be sick. Uh, uh, it's probably gonna feel super dope. I can I let me make something very clear. Abundantly clear. Abundantly clear. I can almost guarantee it's not going to feel super dope. No, I, afterwards, I mean. Well, I, a couple years ago for a Twitch stream, I got one of my legs waxed. Uh-huh. It felt bad, and then my leg was, like, swollen for, like, a week after. Oh, you're going to have a swollen goo. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think it'd be all right. That's if we get to 10,000. Yeah, it's if we get there. So. So run on over. <laughs> Because uh, I'm trying to see Frank have a swollen gooch. Why do you want to see me like that? Why don't you do it with me, bitch? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because we already we've already set this up. We already talked about. All it. right, bro. Oh my god, I know exactly. What. Eleven thousand. I'll do the next thing. Eleven thousand. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know, like the boxer fight your nuts. <laughs> Yep. We should have a like a dominatrix come in here and like hit us. Beat the shit out of you. Or that. Yeah. She could hit me. 
But not in the face. Uh, yeah, we're in Brooklyn. They're probably one in this building somewhere. She also can't step on my balls. No, yeah, no, no, no. no. Because that's, I know some people are into that, but I'm, I, I'm listening. That's, that's kind of scary, no? Yeah, well, some people request that with like high heels. Like, yo, step on my balls. No way, dude. Oh, yeah, I've seen videos. Oh. Speaking of, it's, it, you'll, you'll watch it. It's coming out, uh, Jackass Forever. One of the guys gets his testicle like dislodged. Yeah. Dislodged? Yeah, like detached. You need to watch. Good. No. Not good. It's good. No. You need to watch it. It's real good. Uh, but why would people want their nuts stepped on? Um, pain. No. Just pain, I guess. No, I don't no, know. No. But, I mean, people do stuff that you don't really understand, like this next woman, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Synergy, babe. You got it. That's, That's why. I do. Joe Seneca, new studio, still on it. Also, you want to hear something else? No. We're going to get to the ads before that. God damn it. That's called cliffhanger. That is. That's that is called cliffhanger. A little bit of a cliffhanger. That's how you do it. Suspense. Suspense. What am I doing? Stop looking at me. <laughs> because sometimes you look at me and I don't know if there's bugs. Yeah, when you do that shit, or you're with someone, you just go. <laughs> yeah, that used to be one of my favorite things. I do it on purpose. I used to, that used to be one of my favorite things, just going with people and just going, oh, oh. <laughs> and then everyone just goes, oh, oh. Yeah, it's great. You know what I used to do in high school? I would tell people from other ends of the classroom that they were trying to get in touch with each other. What? So I'd be like, yo, Mike is trying to, he's trying to get, I don't know. And then I'd be like, yo, Mike, Aisha on the other side. And they'd be like, what's up? Across the classroom <laughs> and like and nothing. They had no, they were like, you good? And we're just like, yeah. And then you're like, did it. And I, I pranked them. Yeah. Successful prank. Just crushed it. Frankie was the class clown. I was the class clown. You were? Most likely to be class clown, or what was it? That's just, not it. Just class clown? Nope. I got uh, my superlatives oh, in high school were- Best dressed? Nope. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Mr. Sarcastic. Oh, and, yeah, know-it-all. And Mr. Know-it-all. Love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I got most popular in seventh grade. Well, that was a peak. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Life is about peaks and valleys, and that was a peak. <laughs> that was definitely a peak. <laughs> okay. Uh, the first one we have here- PIA, VPN. Need a VPN? You don't know what that is? Guys, listen, all right? It's like private, it's private internet access. That's the PIA. Um, and a, a VPN is a virtual private network. Uh, even if you use like incognito mode, uh, they're still kind of tracking you in certain summer ways. And, uh, you know, can't have that. Some, a lot of people, they want to they wanna, like uh, protect their stuff, your passwords, this and that. Or also just you don't really like people knowing what you're doing on the internet. Uh, but PIA or PIA encrypts and reroutes your internet traffic through one of its own servers, hiding your data from your internet service provider or network, uh, network, uh, <laughs> admin. <laughs> um, and it has servers in over 75 countries. You can get unst unrestricted access to geo blocked content around the world. So if you, you know, want to watch a show on Netflix, but it's only available in Japan, you can use a VPN to make your, uh, digital location Japan. So you're like, okay, now your Netflix account thinks you're in Japan and you have access to that content. That's the kind of things you could do with a VPN in addition to protecting yourself. Um, so yeah, it's great. If you wanna go get uh, you know, PIVPN right now, you can uh, sign up. Uh, you can take advantage of the special deal only for Basement Yard listeners and viewers. 83% off uh, and four months free. Uh, that's so much more inexpensive than virtually every other VPN on the market, honestly. Uh, and if you get it right now, you can take uh, PIA's 30-day risk-free challenge. You can try it out for 30 days and see if you like it. If not, just return it for a full refund. Uh, click on the link, uh, privateinternetaccess.com slash basement yard, uh, and try out the best VPN on the planet completely risk free. Again, that is privateinternetaccess.com slash basement yard. If you want to get a VPN, this is the one to do it, folks. Uh, and lastly, here we have Truebill, uh, which is very useful. Uh, it's the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions that you don't want, need, or you simply forgot about. Sometimes you sign up for a free trial or something, and then you forget about it because you th were thinking about canceling it, but you didn't, and now you're just paying this like $3 here or $10 here or $12 there, um, or things you don't even use. You realize like, oh, I had you know, Disney Plus or something, and you just don't watch it. You're like, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this. So Truebill helps you identify all these things and cancel the ones that you don't want. On average, people are saving up to $720 a year. And that's just on average. People are probably saving way more than that. Um, yeah, it's great. And saving any uh, types of money is what you want anyway. You don't want to give any away to these random subscriptions. So don't fall for the subscri subscription scams. Uh, start canceling today at truebill.com slash basement. Go right now. Truebill.com slash basement. It could save you thousands a year. 
you're a person who does that kind of thing. So again, truebill.com slash basement. Start saving your money, peeps. Um, but yeah, wanted to get to this story. The cliffhanger. Now we're back. Yeah, we're back. Uh, the, the cliffhanger story um, has to deal with a woman who is just... This is a, a new level of dedication. Do I know this? You don't know this woman, no. <clears throat> uh, no, well, yeah, duh, I don't know the woman. I'm saying, <laughs> do I know this story? Mm, I don't know. So there was a woman uh, who had to get brain surgery for something, uh, and she had an OnlyFans account, um, and she had to get her brain surgery. Um, I think something with like her spine or something. It was something serious. I mean, a brain surgery. This is very serious. Oh, what, I, I honestly don't even know what brain surgery. Is it surgery on the brain or like the skull? The brain, I assume. <laughs> I don't know. The brain or the spine. That would be spine surgery, though. That would be spinal surgery. Um, a spinal tap. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so she has an OnlyFans account and like she kept it sexy during her hospital visit and uh, she was admitted for surgery on March 4th and she was taking like pictures of her tits while she was in recovery for five days and posting a steady stream of them on her fan page. So I guess if you go to this girl's OnlyFans, which I don't think her name is even in here. I'm sure it's in here, but I can't just find it. But she was posting pictures of her tits from her hospital bed after brain surgery. So she's like brain out in the wind, like free brain. And no, they didn't take her skull off. It wasn't Frankenstein. I don't know. I remember when they when they did my dad's surgery, they had like... Because remember, my dad had to get his... like They had to cut his skull open. And they had to put like tubes in. So they had tubes going to his brain. Jesus, that's good. Hello, fuck good me. evening. <laughs> uh, so like she's just free brain and free balling. Yeah, I don't know. Do you think people ask to see it? Ask to see what, her brain? Her brain? I don't think so. I think if you're on OnlyFans, you're not looking at brains. You want to look Bro, at titties. If you want people to step on your nuts with fucking stilettos, why wouldn't you want people to show you their insides? Jesus. <laughs> I just kept scrolling to get more in the Do article. Do you get the brain? No, we got bags. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's a chesty woman. I'll say that. She's clearly like, hey, man, you know, like, she's getting after it. Supporting the... She's just sticking with it. That's dedication. She, it is dedication. She is a... Discipline. Accumulated, oh my god, this is the post. The busty brunette has culminated. I hate that word. Busty? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, over 421,000 followers on Instagram under the handle famous for my personality. Come on. She knows. Come on. She's, well, she's, she's joking. A little mm, tongue, in, tongue in cheek tongue there. Tongue in cheek. Yeah, she gets it. Tongue in big tit. Oh, no. Uh, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I think she was just like sharing pictures of her like in recovery and she was still doing the OnlyFans. There's nothing sexy about a hospital. I just want to make that very clear. I mean, she was letting it happen. No. The three-hour operation cost her $20,000. Oh, 20000 AUD. What is that, like Australian dollars? I think Australian. No, that's, that's English. What the hell is that? That was English. I also yawned while I was doing that. But it was like 15 grand uh, how do they say money. How do they say boobs in Australian? Barbs. <laughs> Let's You're say no, him barbs. <laughs> it's a little fucking giggle afterwards. <laughs> um, but yeah, she was. Just, oh my god, dude! They have a picture. I don't. She has the back of her head just cut open. I you see it. No, no, no. You see your head? No, I'm okay. It's, not, it's like stitched up. I'm okay. Let me tell you something very clear. Yeah. I'm okay. You don't want to see it. No. You're not curious? No, I I've seen some pretty weird injuries in my life, and I don't I don't need to see any more if I if I have a chance. I'm not looking. Why? Eyes are closed. What a coin. face and forward. What if I showed you her, the picture of the bags? No, <laughs> no. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. He goes. No, I mm, no, no. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. She I don't got, want to see any of this. It's a pretty invasive surgery. She was diagnosed with. Uh, an, alien, an area of the skull contorts and puts pressure on the spinal column. So that's what she needed surgery for. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't sound very fun. I, I, I imagine brain surgery is like they have to like play with your brain. Beep, beep, beep. I think it's a little more intricate than beep, beep, beep. Yeah, it's not a computer. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But, like, about. I can imagine, like, they have to, like... Do you think they're removing parts of the brain if, like, they're bad? And then, like, what happens if, like, then no. you can't, like, scratch your neck, like, the right way or something? What the fuck are you even saying? Like, you know, like, if, like, the part of your brain that allows you to do this, if they remove it, are you, like... 
Are you familiar on how the brain? I know. That's why I'm asking. I'm not familiar either, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, she said, they loved the nudes, but they told me I needed a break from working. It doesn't feel like work when you love your job. That's true. Get, you know what? Everyone has been saying that. If you love your job, you'll never you work never a day work in your life. never work a day in your life. Even after brain surgery. And realistically, I mean, that is a level of commitment that, like, she deserves. Like, does OnlyFans have, like, the most, you know, selfless awards? Do they have, like, a superlative or something? Where, like, they can give out. Like, this is the most selfless person on our site. And it's the person that was, like, three hours awake from brain surgery. Just just letting them fly. Yeah, she was being checked on every hour to make sure she didn't have brain damage. Uh, she's been in a lot of pain. All this stuff. But somehow just fitting those fucking nudes in there, though. I guess, That's dedication, man. man yo. I guess. Good and for you. Good for her because she'll probably, you know, turn this into a pretty lucrative growth of her only fans i i don't know if it's just me but like the moment i get into a hospital i am skeeved out i don't care what i'm there for yeah, i don't want to touch the wall i don't want to touch anything i don't want to see anyone because everyone is like i know like they might be in there for something minor like a broken arm but like everyone's on the brink of death and i just don't want to see you just assume that i just assume everyone is there is like clinging on the, to for dear life and there's surgeries there's just open bodies everywhere like Bro, there's like, in, in like the air, there's just like blood and poop. Yeah, there's a bloody air. There's a bloody air. You know what I'm talking about. There's a there's a smell of like hurt. There definitely is. <laughs> there has to be. There is pain. There and is pain. I think those buildings are built off the idea of like pain, you know? Yeah, well, I don't... Pain even, and suffering. I don't know what that means, Frank. I'm... Uh, pain and suffering. Um, but I do... Um, I don't know if I've said this on the show, but my, my grandma, when she was in the hospital, she fucking hated it. Bro, I hate the hospital so much. And I went and visited her, and I was like, because, you know, I want to see it. I was worried. I was like, I'm never going to see my grandma again, whatever, because she was, like, dying. When was this? 2012. Oh. Been dead. Yeah. Uh, but she, uh, this might have been 2011, honestly, but she, when my, my mom went to the bathroom, and she's like, Joey, come here. And I went over to her, and I was like, yeah. And she pulls me in. At this point, one of her eyes was just like, "Oh, she's got." She all was going, yeah. She's like, yeah. "It was like, you know, when like that that's how you know. Dogs. That's how you know, yeah, yeah." Once your grandma's always starts like looking at the clock while she's watching TV, you're like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> no, but my grandma was sitting there, and she's like, "Come here," and then she grabs me and she goes, "She grabs me by the shirt like this." Mm -hmm. I was like, this "Bitch, about to fight me? I'll mm -hmm. sock her." But she grabs me like this and she <laughs> goes, "Straighten that eye out." <laughs> uh, she was like. Get me the fuck out of here. Damn. And she said to That's me. That's some thug shit. And I literally was like, what do you want me to wheel you out of here? Yeah. I was like, Grandma, what do you want me to fucking You can't, like, leave a hospital unless, like, they, like, she allow ended up you leaving. to leave. She, she ended up leaving, and she stayed at my aunt's house, and, like, my mom and my sister, they were with her until she died. She died, like, perfectly. I don't think... No, that's for, a way to die Dude if she was dying And she also wanted to die By the way Don't we all She <laughs> She was laying in bed Because she like Was bedridden obviously Yeah 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 And they were taking care of and her And she like went like No bro She would fall asleep And then wake up And see my mom And go <sighs> Really? Yeah She was bad that she woke up? Yeah And she'd Damn. see my mom And she'd know she was alive And she'd be like Damn. And my mom's like, the fuck you? That's <laughs> fucked up, yeah. It was so funny. Your mom, <laughs> obviously, you shouldn't have done this, but, like, imagine if your mom had, like, died as she woke up, and then, like, she went to sleep. Or, like, your mom died when she was asleep, and then your grandmother woke up, and your mom wasn't there, and she was like, all right, I'm in heaven. I was like, no, bro. <laughs> no, you ain't. Happened, yeah. No, you ain't. But yeah, I think my sister was the one who found her. She's like, oh, grandma. Damn, that's tough. Yeah. I don't think I... It was, like, it was, like, nice, though. Like, obviously, it was sad, but it was, like... It she went good. peacefully. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like she went like without and we all like knew. pain We're and like, suffering. We're like, bro, this is going down. My grandma's like, yeah, I'm fucking trying. I'm, you know. Yeah, yeah. She would yeah. also say some weird stuff, honestly. Really? Like she was like seeing God and stuff. Yeah, like she would be like, where did all those people go? They'd be like, what? Like she would say stuff like that. I remember um, my I I wasn't there for this, but I think when my uncle passed, my dad told me that like he saw his eyes racing. And it, like his eyes were racing, and my dad like thinks that like that's like you know how they say like you play out your life your before life you flashes, die, yeah. Life flashes before your eyes or whatever like that. My dad like still like adamantly believes that like that's what was happening. And he was it's, just like, watching it. He was just watching it again and again and again and again and again. And it's like, damn, can you imagine? That'd be dope, dude. I'll watch my life. I would. I'd love to watch my life, but <laughs> I would like to do it if like you can go back and probably like, skip a couple of years. Honestly, you can like r make things happen that didn't happen. You know what I mean? Like. I stay back and, you know, do videos with you instead of going to college. <laughs> right. You know? 
Um, but then I would like keep my like my my wife and kids and stuff in that part. But like you know, keep my Megazords. Right, right, right. You know, the important stuff. The Pokemon cards. You know, you know. If Tell Frankie had a time machine, the first thing he would do is go back and save his Pokemon cards. Bro, you're going to tell me you, you'd automatically become a million dollars richer. Bro, I would go back and I would stand outside Harvard and I would befriend Mark Zuckerberg. No, I would just invest every penny <laughs> I had into Amazon and Google in like 99. Yeah. And just be like, wait. How, you much, know? Yeah, how much money did you have in 99? Don't worry about how much I had. Yeah. Worry about how much my mom had I wanna, and my dad. Not a lot either. Yeah, no. <laughs> my parents probably had less than that. And my and I remember winning an essay writing contest when I was little. Got 50 bucks for it. Remember that? Fifth grade? Yeah, my mom took that. Damn, she took your bread? You should probably pay the water bill with it. $50 for the water bill? Were you guys showering once a month? No, she was. it was in addition to her payment. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Dude, we used to run out of hot water like that. Really? And I'm the youngest, so I was, you know, I was last on the totem pole. I was fucking freezing. Oh, you guys went by, like, the hierarchy of being able to shower? Well, that's usually just how it worked. Also, me and my brother Thomas, our, like, bowels were synced up. Mm, so we always had a shit at the same time. One and, bathroom. Yeah. Five so, people, six people in the house. And I'd be playing video games and, like, holding shits to the last second and running upstairs being like, oh, my God, I got shit so bad. And he's just in there just fucking chilling. Really? And I'm like, bro, open! Why like that? Because I was going to shit oh, my pants. Oh, you were going to shit your pants, yeah. Luckily, we had two bathrooms in our house, and I don't actively remember that being a big problem in our, our, with our family. Uh-oh. Stay with me here. Yeah. I don't remember this about your bathroom, but I was in a bathroom recently where you ever take a shit at someone else's house, and their toilet's so small? No, I mean, I'm sure I have, but not, not that I can remember. Like, sometimes I'll sit on a toilet. That, like A toilet's supposed to be, like, oval. Yeah, what a, what other shape was it, Joey? A it circle? Was like, yeah, it was like a circle. What? Because I was like sitting there and like, look, I'm not trying to say. Yeah, you are. That my dick is ten feet long or anything like that. It was that. shoved up against the, the top of the bowl. Yeah. Like, really? And I'm like, Good for this you. is what is this? I've been to a house where that's I, never happened. I've been to a house where I've sat on a toilet and like flushed and it was like powerful dude i hate those flushes bro powerful airport bathrooms i'm afraid it's gonna suck my ass like like out. the plane no, well that one too that's a fucking crazy that's a we've crazy talked one. about that that's yeah, we've, crazy we've i'm talking about even in the airport oh i don't even remember the airport bathrooms that well crazy bro i can tell you that like there was one it, it, i actively remember sitting on it and getting up and being like like i survived yeah. That was an experience that I didn't almost make it out of. Honestly, I would rather that, though, than the toilets where you flush it, and it's like... Yeah, it's like taking its, it's time. It's like, yo, put some effort into this flush, you yeah. asshole. I need, I need a shush. Yeah, like... I, I can't have the a... the water glue, flowing. Glue, 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 glue. Yeah, it's just like dripping down. It's like, oh, I guess I'll take the poop. Yeah, like, yeah, Get yeah. this poop I hate, out of I here. hate those, like, half bats that are, like, in a hallway that, like, the door, it's like, you're shitting like this. Yeah. And you're like, bad, 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 chap. It's like I'm shitting and my arm is in like a fucking linen closet. Yeah. Like, Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who designed this? It's not it's poorly designed. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a it's a design issue. It's definitely a design issue. I'd like to speak to the architect. Uh, call him at once. Yes. Uh, no, there, uh, bro. Did I ever tell you I went into a uh, a super old apartment building that was like it was like built in like 1790 something in Manhattan that the tub was under the sink. You like pulled the tub out and it was underneath the sink. Like it was on wheels? Yeah. Was it nice? No. Why did I ask that? <laughs> Obviously not. Joey's going to get one now. No, that's... No, bro. I was in there for, for work and it was literally, it was like those claw baths where they like yeah. sit in the middle of rooms. Right. Let's make sure we... No, I'm so glad we've moved past those. No, I, no. I like them. No, no, If no. they're set up next to a nice window, Beautiful. No. Standalone baths are amazing. I'm not I'm talking about the ones that are like in the middle of a room, Joey. Oh, if it's in not the, the ones that are on a wall. Yeah, it's like near the wall. So stupid. No, in I, the middle of a room. Okay. Standalone baths are cool. I've never I don't think I've ever been in one. Bro, you're missing out. I, I'm I'm sure I'm not. It's nice to like feel like one time I stayed in a hotel and they had one. It was kind of in the middle of the room, and I was like, how do you fill this up? And then I turned the thing and it came out of the ceiling. Bro, do you remember where? Do you remember um, when we went to Miami for Danny's bachelor party, and there was a big tub that obviously me, Josh, Espo, and someone else got in. Oh, me, hot tub, hot tub. Yeah, 
No, not the hot tub. Oh, no, the tub. The tub. Yes, yes. And we're like, yo, where does the water come from? And we turned it on, and there was like a square cut out in the ceiling, and the water just yeah. shot, that, like in a stream. Yeah. It was, it was the same deal. It, it was, was like wild. That, that was also, pretty cool. Not very cool because it like gets everywhere. I thought it was pretty cool. No, it's cool to see, but I'm saying like as like design wise, it's like bro. It's oh yeah, it, ma- it makes a mess. But it was a pretty deep tub. It fit four men. Yeah, you know, and uh, you had to cross legs, as one does in a tub with other men. It's like we were making an apple pie. We like scissored. The, Just call it what it is. The crust of an apple. <laughs> the pie. The lattice of our legs. <laughs> Within the lattice of our fucking drunk mess it's a, legs. It's a man apple pie. It was a good it was a good little time. That was a fun trip. That was also the same trip where someone else that will remain nameless. Mm-hmm. Uh oh no, different, different trip. Was someone that will remain nameless got naked in the shower with us. With me and you. No. Like when one of us would be showering, they would just get naked and go in the shower. Oh, I remember this. Very You know why I remember this? Why? Because that happened to me. Yeah, it happened to me too. Yeah. And like Look, I'm, 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 I don't want to shower with another man. I like, I like my boys. I like my friends. <laughs> but boundaries. That's one of those give me your balls moments, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't give anyone any balls. No, they, they probably tried to take them from you. I, they weren't taken either. Uh, they, I said they tried. Possibly, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I cannot firm nor can de- deny. What? <laughs> con- con- confirm nor con- de- con- de- confirm de- deny. deny. But. What a time. What a time. It was what a good a time. time. It was. It was a great time. I haven't showered with one of my friends since then. I haven't either. Uh, I think that's the only time I've showered with a man. I We didn't have like showers in high school where it was like, meet you in the showers. We had those. We did not. Everyone wore underwear though. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they knew. What? They knew the priests were watching through the peephole. Oh, that, I mean, hey. That's not <laughs> something that's probably outside of the realm of possibility, but you never know. Yeah. Oh, blaspheming. Well, you know, it's a good thing to blaspheme. It isn't. It's right? not. It's, it's not. really not. But if it, it's okay. We can blaspheme our whole life, and then at the end, when we're, like, real close to death, we apologize, and God's like, all right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> come on. An idiot. Come on, you. I yeah. knew it they all were, along. They were good. I knew it all Don't along. Don't fucking do it again. No. I told them you were joking. <laughs> Don't do it again. No. Don't do it again. You oh oh you almost went to hell. I'll send you there. Yeah. Um but yeah. That's all we got for today. Frank, where can I find you? Cus? You can find me in hell eventually. Yeah. That's blaspheming. True. Uh and imagine if you get an eternity of just torture. That suck, dude. Unless you're trying to get your ball stepped on. Well then I mean they'll define what torture is. So like your torture would be having to like, you know, not gaslight people. <laughs> My torture would be, you know, my Megazord's being crushed in front of me. Oh, my God. Uh, you can find me at Falvers8085 and then the Frank Alvarez Twitch and Instagram. Go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Sign up for that first tier. You get these weekly episodes a week in advance. That second tier, exclusive content, episodes at the end of every week. Go check it out, patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. And San Agato Studios on YouTube, babe. We got videos up there every single Wednesday. Monday, you're covered. Uh, Wednesday, you're covered. Friday, you're covered. How generous is this man right here? New studio, new world, uh, new way to take more of your time from you. So check it out. (laughs) Yes, and you guys can go follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram, and that is all. See you guys next time. Mm